I have one question for you. Are you ready to rock out 2020? We're stepping into an entire new decade and I want to help you manifest your 2020 vision, which is related to your big lifelong vision. All the dreams and hopes that you have and want to create in 2020 are setting the foundation for the next decade, for the next decades of your life and business. So today I want to give you the top six habits to help you manifest your 2020 vision. If this is your first time here, I'm Dr. Amanda Barrientes, the founder of NFA Coaching and the host of the Max Potential Habits podcast. This is your place where every week I bring you tips, tools, and inspirational interviews to help you optimize your habits so you can lead a thriving life and business. Today, let's get right to it because I have a ton of good info for you. You're definitely, if you're able, going to want to get out a pen and paper or take notes on your computer because I'm going to give you six habits that you're going to want to implement to manifest your vision in 2020. Number one, become a NFA mindset master. What does that mean? NFA means no fucking around. And if you want to hear the backstory of it, I believe I tell it in the intro of how I came up with that name. I might. I can't remember if I do. But I am a NFA mindset master. And one of the foundations of my coaching, working with people, is to be a NFA mindset master. What does that mean? Number one, it means that you are taking a stance of radical responsibility, knowing that your outcomes of your life and business are related to you, to your inner world, to the thoughts you think. So your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. And an NFA mindset has you going, I'm responsible for my outcomes, which means that if I want to shift my outer world, I first need to start from within. I need to look at my habitual thoughts. You're willing to do whatever it takes. You're in a willing to do whatever it takes mindset. When I was at the, what I felt like rock bottom that actually led me in, into my coaching path, it was because I was laying on the floor crying and I said, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to shift out of this reality and start something different. And I had to look within and do what it took. And it was a vow to myself that I was willing to do whatever it takes to transform into the most empowered version that I could become so I could lead an empowered life. I needed to do the work, right? Training my brain constantly in the direction of what's working instead of what's not working. Getting out of victim mindset and into victor mode. Getting out of fear-based thinking and into courage-based thinking. Seeing failure as on the way instead of in the way. Stepping courageously into my fears. That's the NFA mindset. And I have all kinds of awesome tips and tools. If you want to work with me, schedule a consult or just keep listening to this podcast or go back and listen to multiple of my podcasts. Have a binge listen day or a binge watch day if you're on YouTube. There's all kinds of good tips here, all related to helping you adjust your mindset and your habits, NFA style style so you can get where you want to go. So number one, become an become a NFA mindset master. Number two, practice personal growth and development daily, 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 daily. If you want to master your life and your business, you've got to master yourself. What does that mean? Listen to podcasts, watch YouTube videos. Those are all free information and there is a plethora of incredible resources out there for free. If you want to take it to the next level, hire a coach, enter a group coaching program, join a mastermind, go to meetups with other people who are interested in growing, in self-development, go to workshops. I mean, the list goes on and on. Don't make excuses. Books are inexpensive. Join Audible. I mean, I could give you so many tips here, but find Find an area that interests you in the realm of personal growth and development. Could be mindset, could be habits, could be money, could be relationships. Work on yourself daily. You are the common denominator of your life. So if whatever's working, not working in your life, if you don't like the outcomes, look at yourself and master yourself. I cannot stress this enough and encourage you enough. Personal growth and development is the number one thing I've done to go from food stamps to six, uh, building a six-figure business, transforming my relationships, close relationships with my ex-husband, my friends, my family. I love my life and it's because I've worked hard on myself. So I want that for you too. Number three, change your identity to become the most empowered version of yourself. 
What does this mean? In habits research, it shows that you must change your identity. This is the most powerful shift, which means believing that you can become a different person. It means investing in shifting your mindset to believe that everything is possible, anything is possible. You can make massive shifts in a year. So when you're sitting on the couch December 31st, 2020, looking back at your year, you can be a radically different person if you have the belief and start stepping into that new identity. This is a powerful process. It's the idea of becoming a different person. Instead of being stuck in the past, you're not a victim of your history, you're a master of your destiny. So you're coming up with a vision of who you want to become and stepping into it. So I change your identity to become the most empowered version of yourself. Visualize who you want to become. Start taking action in that direction. Number four, choose one keystone habit for the year and take consistent daily action. A keystone habit is a habit that tends to be a domino effect of the rest of your habits. Something like quitting drinking. If drinking is causing you have less energy, less money, less time, Quit drinking. Try quit dr quitting drinking for 2020. Uh, there's a great book I just read uh, working with a client, and it's called uh, Alan Carr's Easy Way to Control Drinking, I believe is what the title is. Awesome book. It'll really help you with your mindset around alcohol. Um, that's a keystone habit that affects a lot of people. Uh, in uh, Charles Duhigg's do Higgs book, The Power of Habit, he talks about keystone habits and how making your bed in the morning could be a keystone habit. So I want you to choose one keystone habit that sets you up for success for the rest of your day and do that every day this year. Uh, James Clear, who wrote Atomic Habits, says habits are the compound interest of self-improvement. The same way that money multiplies through compound interest, the effects of your habits multiply as you repeat them. Ah, this is so powerful. Thinking about how little tiny improvements every day over the course of the year, he talks about 1% improvements, result in you being 37 times better by the end of the year. So don't worry about taking the giant leap. Take a 1% improvement every day and start with a small habit. Take strategic daily action and improve by 1%. Number five, focus on systems to help you reach your goals and visions. And uh, Clear says, you don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. So here's the thing, goals are awesome. Set a goal, set a vision for the year, but then to get there, Focus on your systems. Are your systems in place to help you reach your goals? If they're not, work on your systems. Don't keep adjusting your goals. Don't keep thinking, oh, I changed the number, I do this, I do that. Change your systems. Your systems are what help you help set you up for success. So by being committed to the process and improving your systems, this helps you achieve your long-term goals and visions. And I, I'll do a whole podcast at some point soon about the difference between goals and visions and what I think about goals and all of those things. But it, it, you know, I think goals are important to focus on the long-term vision and to set your mind in terms of what you want and think about that daily. But you're never, ever going to reach your goals without systems in place. Systems could look, could look like daily keystone habits, meditating, journaling, exercising, and then taking strategic action. Last week I talked about setting up three to five highest priority action steps every day. That's a keystone habit in my mind. I, every single day when I start my work day, I start with three to five highest priority action steps that I need to create that day to fulfill my vision and I start taking them. Number six, celebrate your victories along the way. This is really important and many people overlook it. You're setting up positive associative neural pathways when you celebrate yourself. If you get somewhere and you feel like you achieved something and then you just go to the next and up level and never stop to celebrate yourself, you're setting up negative feedback systems. You wanna set up a positive feedback system, a reward system for accomplishments so that you wanna keep doing it. So celebrate yourself on a consistent basis. Give yourself the rewards that you deserve for doing these things to optimize your to take it to the next level to create the life and business of your dreams. All right, that's what I got for you. This is how I want you to manifest your 2020 vision. Reach out, connect with me, subscribe to the channel. I'm here for you. I love giving you this information and I'll be back next week to bring you more tips to help you thrive and feel alive.